Hey everyone, Mike Sinitsky here, your local San Francisco Bay Area realtor with Rise Homes. If you're thinking about buying a home, getting started on your home buying journey, or just wanna make a game plan, I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step what I suggest you do to get started. The first thing I recommend is connecting with a local realtor. Now, maybe someone might refer a local realtor. Maybe you might go online and find a realtor based on reviews. Whatever the case may be, I recommend interview at least two to three realtors, get comfortable with them, make sure that they're a good fit, make sure that they're gonna work hard for you and be available through this whole process to talk you through everything, walk you through everything. Let's say you've picked out a realtor. Ask that realtor for their local lender recommendations. I would suggest connecting with at least two, maybe even three lenders. Depending on where you're at with the home buying process, let's just say you're in the very early stages. I really don't recommend going through the app and, and filling out the application, but what would do better for you is actually sitting down before you reach out to these lenders and put together a quick summary list, who you work for, how much you make, if you're buying a home with a significant other, a partner, a spouse, make sure to both of your information in there, all your assets, what you have in your brokerage accounts, your retirement accounts, your savings and cash, whatever the case may be. The reason I recommend this is if you're not ready to go and there's really no reason to get that app completed and getting a pre-approval that's only going to last you for six months you're going to have to do some updated documents pull your credit again if you are ready to purchase within the next six months or, or a year even if you're actively going to be getting into the home buying process then it is imperative that you get that pre-approval completed if you're a seller would you accept an offer from someone that hasn't completed a pre-approval that you have no idea whether they're gonna qualify for a loan or not. You got the first two important steps completed. You got yourself a realtor. That realtor is gonna be your guru throughout the home buying journey. You've connected with local lenders. The next step I recommend is ask your realtor to walk you through the disclosure package, show you how to read the purchase agreement, the offer doc that you'll be submitting with the offer amount on the property. Go through all these things, learn all the documents, learn all the disclosure, Disclosures, get comfortable with the process. You're waiting to save up money, or maybe you're waiting to get pre-approved, whatever the case is, use that downtime wisely. Educate yourself, empower yourself with information. The reason I recommend learning the disclosures and learning the contract is by the time you're ready to pull the trigger on the home, you don't wanna lock up and be all nervous about submitting an offer. Because if you take the time and you learn all these things and you get comfortable with them, you'll be more focused on the home. Whether you like the home, whether you like the location, you're not gonna be nervous about all the other details. Another thing I would do while you're waiting or going through the pre-approval process is test the commute of the areas you're considering. You might wanna wake up in the morning, go drive over and test the commute and make sure that that commute isn't gonna be miserable. A home purchase is a big purchase and you will be there for several years. So you don't wanna make a purchase and then regret that commute that you have to take every single day. Maybe you won't mind it, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it's gonna be a deal breaker and you decide, hey, I don't wanna buy a home in this area. You've connected with the realtor, you've talked to a lender, you know how much home you can afford, you've tested the commute, you've learned how to read the disclosures and you've learned how to read the disclosures and you're comfortable with the contract. So what's next? Start looking at properties and start touring them. Reach out to your realtor to tour the properties at your convenience or go visit them during the open houses, whatever works best for you. I hope you found this helpful uh, to help you start your home buying journey. So if you think I missed anything, have anything to add, any comments whatsoever, please comment down below and please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Thanks.